Now you see now, you done fucked up, you know that, don't you? I see what I'm saying. I, no, I, I thought... That's what I'm saying, that you done I, fucked up now, you know that, don't you? Ah, this is desperation at its worst. Because you know, you know they messed up last week when Tim Miller went out there and shit the bed by saying, Oh, hey, this movie's going to scare the shit out of the misogynist. You shouldn't have done that. Because the studio knows that the anticipation for this movie has gone... Because even the SJWs have stopped arguing with me in the comments sections. No SJWs have come at me ever since Tim Miller went and opened his big mouth to the press and started bragging about how this movie's going to scare the shit out of the misogynist because you turned a Terminator into another Ghostbusters simply by looking like a baboon in the press. All right, so this is from IGN, Terminator Dark Fate. Edward Furlong returns as John Connor, R rating confirmed, Comic-Con 2019. These are the things that you have to use to get people to come see your movie. You know it's bad, okay? So, hopefully his dirt bike is back to whatever Comic-Con, John Ryan. Let's get into this, shall we? Edward Furlong, the actor who played young John Connor in Terminator 2 Judgment Day, will be returning to the franchise in Terminator Dark Fate. James Cameron, the director of the first two Terminator movies and producer, writer on Dark Fate, made the announcement during the panel for the movie at San Diego Comic-Con in 2019. Notice they didn't lead in with Tim Miller, okay? It was also announced that the movie directed by Tim Miller, who directed 2016's Deadpool, will be rated R. Quote, the DNA of Terminator is an R-rated fucking movie, he said. I'm so glad that you know how to swear. And this is literally all the article has to say. But yeah, you're going to bring Edward Furlong is as John Connor, and he's probably going to be in the movie for 15 seconds. I'm just saying. All right? I, I In a realistic world, I wish I could get excited about this, but like I said, we've been conditioned to disappointment before. And they've already told us what kind of a what kind of a movie this is going to be. This is going to be, you know, um, female empowerment versus the patriarchy and uh, woke points and all this kind of crap. And they're putting it out in November and they're really reaching desperate to try to bring in some kind of excitement because Arnold isn't pulling it off anymore because everybody saw Genesis and that wasn't enough either. Okay, so, and you know, Arnold's probably barely in the movie too. It's mostly going to be about Mackenzie Davis and probably Linda Hamilton uh, fighting the patriarchy. And, you know, I'm a fan of Lim Linda Hamilton. I thought she was fantastic in the uh, first and second movie, uh, especially the first movie because she made that transition from, you know, waitress to... Uh, you know, basically killing the Terminator, you know, she had to be strong because she was literally backed into a corner. And in the second movie, of course, she was a real badass, but she still showed her human side, which I really appreciated. Um, you know, like I said, I want to like this movie, but it's, it's really hard to be excited about it, especially when they're, they're doing stuff like this to just try to, to generate some kind of buzz whatsoever. I, you know, maybe we'll get another trailer. I'll do another trailer reaction. We'll see what happens. But, you know, for right now, this just seems... It, it screams of desperation. It really does. And I had to get a video out there about it because it just... It, it, it's like, oh, well, of course you're going to put him in it because you literally have nothing else to stand on at this point. You already squandered all the goodwill you might have had when you came out with those articles last week talking about how... You know, Dark Fate's going to uh, scare the shit out of the quote-unquote misogynist, which, you know, is not something that Terminator fans wanted to listen to. You know, something I need to tell you, Hollywood, is I know you're, like, really guilty about the whole Me Too movement and the Weinstein, uh, you know, controversy and all that, and you're trying to get out from under it, but you do have to realize that not all males are guilty of what you're guilty of. You understand what I'm saying? We're not all rapists, okay? 
Not all of us did these things, okay? Some of us just liked entertaining movies to go see, all right? We weren't all there making the movies. We didn't all live in Hollywood when all of these things were going down. And you know what? Last time I checked, our money spends the same way as anybody else's money. And something else that was brought up on the World Class Bullshitters, which I'm a huge fan of. Shout out to Jeff Hicks for mentioning this because he made a good point. Um, people went to go see the Terminator, the first two Terminator movies. Those were Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, not Linda Hamilton movies. And as much as I like Linda Hamilton movie, he makes a good point. It, those were Schwarzenegger action movies, okay? Schwarzenegger vehicles. That's why people went to go see those, all right? We didn't go to see Terminator 2 because Ed Furlong was in the movie. We didn't even know who Edward Furlong was. And after Terminator 2, nobody knew who Edward Furlong was either. So it's not like they had to, to reach too far into their pockets to get him to come back. I'm just saying. I don't mean to shit all over Ed Furlong. I'm sure he's a fantastic guy and everything. But like I said, this just reeks of desperation. So like I said, I'll be seeing the movie. I'll review it. I'm not expecting much of anything after the last couple of movies. I, I hope I would be impressed, but right now my excitement is just, it's gone. It's not there. Uh, everything I read about this movie, with the exception of this article, this one actually made me laugh. It's barely even an article. It's it's just like, it's like a news bit, you know? But uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Comic-Con's going to bring us about some, uh, some interesting news, so there'll be some cool videos coming out next week. So we'll look and see that. Um, Make sure you guys check me out on the fan cast tonight. That's at 8 30 p.m. Eastern Time uh, on the fan cast channel. I'll be leaving a link in the description. And make sure you check us out over there because we have a really good time and we'll be talking about all these subjects there. So, um, you guys have yourselves a groovy day. And this is the Groovinator signing out. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining. Please remember to depress that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you'll be the first to know when new content is published. Please visit RaidersOfLostFlicks.com for more hilarious entertainment and links to all of our social media platforms. Also, consider supporting us on Patreon. As little as a dollar a month supports our worldwide digs for more Lost Flicks. Thank you, and have a groovy day.